Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a scallop edge brush that we can use to do something like apply a scallop edge to a piece of clothing in Illustrator. Now to save myself time, I've downloaded this element from Vect Easy. So let's just go and have a look at that. I'm going to give you the download link for this, but Vect Easy is a really good site for free content. And so I've used this one in this class. If we have a look in the layers palette here, you'll see that they're all different elements in this particular pack. And I've just turned the visibility of all of these off so that the only one that we're able to see is the one that I'm actually going to be working with. I'm going to click here to add a new layer to this document because I want to work with my brush on a brand new layer. I need a circle, so I'm going to ellipse tool and I'll hold the shift key as I drag out a circle. At this point, you want to be using probably the default colors of black and white. And you also want to make sure that the stroke around your shape is the stroke width that you ultimately want to be using. So I'm looking at that in relation to the fill and saying, yeah, that's a pretty good stroke for me. I'm going to the rectangle tool. I'm just using the smart guides here to draw a rectangle over my circle. I'm going to select both of these, go to the Pathfinder palette. If you're not seeing that here, you can choose Window and then Pathfinder to find it. And I'm going to click here on Minus Front because the rectangle's in front of the circle. It's just going to cut a piece out of the circle. At the moment, if we were to create this as a brush, the line that we apply this brush to is going to go through the middle of this shape. And I want it to go along the bottom edge. So I'm going to deselect the shape and I'm just going to zoom in so we can do a little bit of work with this brush before we actually turn it into a brush. I'm going to the pen tool. I'm just going to click once on this anchor point here at the top of the shape. What that does is it creates a single point with the pen tool. I'm just going to press escape. So you'll see that your point is still selected and all it is is just a single dot. With it still selected, we're going here to the Reflect tool. You can find that underneath the Rotate tool. Click on the Reflect tool, and at this point, we're going to tell Illustrator what point we want to reflect over. And I want to reflect over this line here. So I'm going to hold the Alt key on a PC option on a Mac and just click once to make that my reflection point. As soon as I do that, this Reflect dialog opens and I want to reflect in a horizontal direction. So you can see my dot has gone from here all the way to here. I'm just going to click OK and now go back to the Selection tool and I want to select this shape here and the dot. So I'm just going to drag over both of them. You can see we've got quite a large rectangle that is encompassing both the dot and the shape. And this is going to be our brush. With it selected, I'm going to the Brushes panel. I'm going to click here on New Brush. I'm going to click to make a pattern brush and click OK. Illustrator will by default give you a corner for your brush if you're using one of the most recent versions of Illustrator. In earlier versions of Illustrator, there just won't be a corner tile. And it's fine. You can use a corner tile or not as you wish. So I'm just going to do that and click OK. Let's go back to our piece of clothing. I need to draw a line upon which I'm going to apply this brush. So I'm going to the pen tool and because I'm working on a different layer, I'm not actually going to be picking up this shape underneath. So that's fine. This is going to be a line on a separate layer. So I'm just going to drag down and then come in here and just drag across to try and follow pretty much the line of the shirt. Press Escape when I'm done and turn the fill off. If I think I need to make an adjustment, I can do so at this point. But I'm pretty happy that my line is going over the shirt line. With my line selected, I'm going to the Brushes palette and I'm going to click on my brush to apply it to the line. Right now you can see that there are a few problems and one of them is that the brush is obviously way too big and it's also the wrong side of the line. So I'm going to double click on my pattern brush here. I'm going to choose flip across so that the scallops are now on the outside and not the inside. I'm also going to reduce the scale here so I have much, much smaller scallops. And when I'm happy with the result, all I need to do is to click OK. 
I'll click Apply to Strokes so that the changes are applied to the strokes as well as being applied to the brush itself. If I need to, I can just adjust the placement of this line. I can also adjust the line itself by going to the Direct Selection tool, click on either of these points and just adjust the line to suit. So there's a little bit of finessing to do there, but I'm just going to leave you to do that. What we're here to do is to create the brush. I'm going back to the selection tool. I'm going to select my line because I want a duplicate of it. So I'm just going to alt drag a duplicate away. That would be option drag on the Mac. I need to flip this. So with it selected, I'm going to choose object transform and choose reflect. I want to reflect it over the vertical so it's going in this sort of curve which is going to fit perfectly along this side of the sweater. The problem is of course that the brush is pointing in the wrong direction but that's very easily solved. I'll click OK to take that transformation. I'm going to move this into position and place it over the shirt. To flip the scallop brush over to the other side, we could double click on this and just turn flip across off. But what we're going to do is we're going to affect every instance of the brush. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. The tool that we need to use is this one here and it's options of selected objects. So the changes that we're going to make now are only going to apply to this particular object. So I'll click on it and here I just want to disable flip across and that will make sure that the scallops are going in the right direction. They're the same size as the original which they should be so I'll just click OK. So there's how you can create a scallop brush in Illustrator but of course what we also want to be able to do is to recolor this brush. So I'm going to select each of these lines, click on the first, shift click on the second one. I'm going to choose Object Expand Appearance so I expand them so we can recolor them. At this point I'll click here on the Recolor Artwork tool. Because I've got these two objects selected they're the only things we're going to recolor. You can see here that black is already mapped onto itself. If you have just a little bar in here, you want to click once to make sure that it's mapped on and that little arrow tells you that it's mapped. We also need a color for white, so I'm going to click here and click yes to add another color. Again, making sure that this is an arrow, not a bar. Now let's go to edit. This is our colors and what I do is just drag the colors into a place so that I can see what's working and what isn't. Well this is obviously this color here so I can just drag it into a position to pick the color I want to use. So I'm going to use a sort of darker version of the shirt color. The black is going to be a little bit more difficult to recolor because you can see that wherever I put it it's just black. Well we can change that and I'm just going to put it in yellow so we can see the difference. With it targeted, so I've got this particular dot here clicked on, I'm going to increase the brightness. And then I'm going to increase the saturation. And when I do, you can see now I can see my hue slider. So that lets me now go and change the hue of the stroke around this shape. And I can choose whatever I like. I can also fine tune it by perhaps dropping down the brightness a little bit if I want to. But you'll generally have to increase brightness and increase saturation so that you can actually pick a color and then you can start winding it back if you wish. I'm going to add this as a color group so I'll just click here to add these colors as a new color group. Click OK. So there's how you can create your own scallop brush in Illustrator to apply to lines that you can then apply to dresses or fabric or whatever it is that you want to add a scallop edge to in Illustrator. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and you'll be alerted whenever new videos are released. And you'll find plenty more content at my website, which is projectwoman.com. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley.